Hello everybody and welcome back to Firewatch. We are on the hunt for those teenagers who cut down our uh, phone line and potentially also broke into our um, lookout tower. Um, we see a thin line of smoke which is probably their campfire right here. And we've tracked them down from coming over around this way so I think the way forward for us is going to be rappelling down this ledge here. So we're going to go ahead and attach a rope to hook. And we're off. We are off. Makes me nervous every time we do this now. I really don't want the rope to break and us to fall on our back again. There's only so many times you can do that before you've got serious back issues. Looks like it's um, early afternoon or mid-afternoon with the height of the sun in the sky. Um, or I guess it could be even kind of later afternoon. Looks like the sun started to have an orange tint to it. So there might not be too much longer in day two. We're going to see. I'm going to see what happens when we can find this campfire. So, if I recall correctly, the smoke was coming over this way, so we want to be heading over here. So, one thing I noticed when I was um, editing the last episode, is I noticed I had a little bit of a misunderstanding about who Dave and Ron were. I thought they were old Firewatch um, people who were spying on like the other Firewatch people. Um, but I had just completely forgotten the fact that Delilah told me exactly who they were. They are rangers. Um, they're rangers in uh, this part. And um, they're not in season right now. They're, they shouldn't be around here. So I don't think we're ever going to meet Don or, uh, Ron or Dave um, because this is not their time of year to work. Um, looks like there's nothing here. Uh, in terms of supplies, but we have some information we can copy down. Um, let's look at this missing persons report. Mitch Michaels, 31. Distinctive facial hair. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake. He was first reported missing on July 29, 1981, by the Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. So there's a potential missing person around here. Maybe that's who we saw with the flashlight, Mitch Michaels. Hmm, interesting. We'll have to radio um, Delilah about this. I wish I remember what year it was right now. Is 1981, is this like current or is this old? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. A thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their uh, head. And then there are those who just targeted. want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! <laughs> PTSD, so, huh? So... Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. So, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And 
You got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. All right. Interesting. I feel like, um... I feel like I want to know more about this, uh... Ned and Brian Goodwin relationship. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I did. I didn't. Oh, but yeah, Henry did. Yeah, they share didn't. their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Ah, here's the stream. Let's check our own maps. Okay. I was like wondering why it didn't seem like we were heading towards the smoke, but it looks like we have to go down, up, and around. So, uh, we are on the right track. Yeah, so um, I did know that fact about uh, these trees, that they're like one organism. And actually, the largest organism in the world, by a certain definition of largeness, like if you consider, since all of these trees coming from the same root system, that they are one organism. The largest organism in the world is actually a forest of, of, of these trees. Um, I don't know where in the world it is, because um, it was a while ago I, I heard this fact. but. That's true. Um, I think it's also been around for, you know, hundreds of years. It might be one of the oldest. Do you love a good evening hike? I think this is where we have to start hiking up. We lost the, uh, the plume of smoke that was kind of guiding us. Let me check my map. No. I am going backwards now. I shouldn't have crossed the stream. I should not have crossed the stream. Okay, we want to go back over and we want to keep hiking further downstream. What was that? Oh, it's a waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. I love how Henry continues to report every single little thought that pops into his head to Delilah. Even after she called him out on it. Okay, we are headed the right direction now. For sure. I always thought that part of this game was weird, but I've actually, I think... The truth is, Henry's just really lonely. Um, what is this? Thoroughfare lookout. Delilah's tower. Well, I can't see Delilah's tower. Okay, apparently it says I can radio, but apparently I can't actually radio. I found their campsite. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. All right. So much things to report. Let's have fun with this. Let's start with, what the heck, my sheets? Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... So I was completely wrong. I thought there was something more sinister afoot than just a bunch of, you know, angry teenage girls. Uh, but apparently that's all it was. They broke into my tower, they downed the phone line. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean. 
I think this should be all stomped out, right? These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full they case. have drank so well, much beer. Shits, we guess. must have picked up at some least... Dedication. Yeah, we must have picked up at least like 50 beers so far. I don't understand how two people can drink that much well, beer. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, Everyone likes a bad boy. A girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. <laughs> All right. Uh, this does not look good. I think I get where this story's going now. It started with us pissed off at them, but I think now we're gonna have to go rescue them. They might have gotten attacked by like a bear or something. Look at this. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Sounds like we need to read this note. Dear Psycho, I hope you're effing happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped us out in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. And stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental effing axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth it being a jerk or some uh, over some fireworks. Dick. Wow. So... Something destroyed their camp, or somebody, I guess they think it's somebody. It wasn't us, but they're blaming us. They just think we're like a murdering psycho creep. Also, we didn't steal their panties. Is that what they said? Yeah, we didn't steal their panties. I don't know where they're getting this info from. Uh, let's radio this into Delilah. They're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No. Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here weird stuff happens in the woods it could be other campers they could be having a bad mushroom trip we really don't know but they're gone there's no way to call the cops they're not coming back and we can get to work i'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer yeah me too i didn't get to report all the sleeping bag and the other stuff I probably could have just finished that in the last episode. I didn't realize that not every day goes until late at night. Um, why are we stopping at two boards? I'd like to finish repairing the rest of the broken window. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Ooh. Tom I could be Cruise. Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. I don't think and there's any shorts, rule in PC culture like about wear? noticing a race. Clothes. Tuxedos as often as possible. Tuxedos Let's as just continue with all the sarcasm. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, dear. Yes. <laughs> now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Let's see. 
Well, Let's just continue mustache, lying through our teeth. Thin mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. We sound like a Bond villain. Are you a freaking Bond villain? Hey, she gets I, it. Uh, I, I can't I believe I called that. Stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. I feel bad I now. Know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Uh oh. You're what? She's is, drawing is us, and we okay? didn't give her any accurate uh, information. Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. <sighs> okay, let's be honest. They're tired. They look tired. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age, and you just. You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Guess it's all in your you perspective. Get what you need? Absolutely. So, what are we getting up to today? We found uh, Delilah's tower. We saw it through the trees uh, earlier when we were hiking, and I couldn't quite make it out, but here it is, clear in sight. So, she does just have like a telescope or something. Um, that clears that up. Um, okay, uh, maybe we need to continue boarding up? I don't know what exactly we're up to today. What do we have to do in here? We have a toolkit, a broken window, whiskey. I kind of feel bad for lying to Delilah. Maybe I shouldn't have told her that we stole her whiskey. Um, at, you know, at least she could protect us if we were honest. But we have plausible deniability. Nobody's gonna come and... Nobody's gonna come and find our whiskey in here. Um, I want to continue boarding this up, but I don't know where to get more boards. And also, I'm kind of counting on Delilah to tell us what to do. Otherwise... I think the actual job of being a fire watch is literally just sitting in your tower and watching for fires. Get a couple more boards. Okay, I was going to say. But I don't think that that's what this game is. I don't think this game is just sitting in our tower all summer and looking for fires. So... We've got two boards. How many more boards do we want? Alright, three is enough. So obviously we're not going to have a normal summer. Something's going to happen. Beyond what just already happened. Alright. We will continue boarding up our broken window. He didn't even put a nail in. He's just banging on the board. I admire his accuracy with the hammer. I, I am really bad. Every time I try so to nail anything, I just next? miss the nail half What's the next? time. What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st See, that's exactly and what I was saying. at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. All right, give me a moment, Delilah. Give me a moment. I need to get ready for this incredibly difficult task of staying in my room and looking for fires. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay, I think I am ready to <laughs> tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. I have. I took a whole, like, five seconds to think about it. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. Yeah, that's not it's comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. You know, maybe instead of sitting in your tower all day, you can go for a little hike every day. Henry, 
having a nice afternoon? We are. Thanks for ruining it. It was nice until you. <laughs> well, I was. Hardy har. Ugh, I'm finally paying for all those years of giving my bosses attitude. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Oh, no. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. No, that's so unfortunate. I know they were kind of bad, but we didn't want this to happen to them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Yikes. Should I just not say anything that's and not save even... us the trouble? No, we got to be honest. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. No, we're gonna be we're yeah. gonna do the right thing. I'll uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Where does Delilah have right, to hide Henry, from? Thanks. Enjoy the sunset. We will. It's gorgeous tonight. Wake up. It's the middle of the night. Why are you waking us up? Better be important. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. I'm on it. Give me two seconds. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What? That's not Delilah. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm. I am. She is Australian. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Hell of a dream. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Wow. Okay. I think that's, um, a... I think that's a clue into our, you know, inner dialogue about Julia. Maybe we feel guilty about leaving Julia and making friends with somebody else this summer. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Hike oh, how's north that work? to retrieve supplies. It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. How do, am I supposed to know how much my fair share is if I don't know how many people I'm sharing it with? So, like, <clears throat> two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? Hold up, that sleeping, wasn't just a dream? Yes, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, 
um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've wow, just Delilah. lied about it for over 10 years. And uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Well, thanks for sharing, Delilah. That actually means a lot. Um, I did want to ask about this fence. Apparently this fence is remarkable. It looks like we're going to have to go around, and it looks like there's no trespassing according to a U.S. code, so maybe this is like a government um, government property. I don't know, maybe they'd like hey, uh, have Delilah? some like what do you got? power you got generators uh, here no, or something. I don't know. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big <coughs> chain link fence? A chain link fence? Wait, Delilah yeah. doesn't know it about it? It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. It doesn't look that huge. It looks like a little... Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Yeah, maybe well, it could be scientists like doing like a study or something. Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but that'll probably be a few days. All right. Um I was saying we need to go around the uh we need to go around the fence, but it looks like around the fence is going to be easier said than done. How do I get down this slope? Uh okay, let's pull our map out again. Huh. Okay, we need to go northeast. Northeast. This direction. There's apparently a trail we can continue. Can Okay, so I can rappel down these slopes. Can I go back up them? I can. Okay, good. <clears throat> because apparently this is the way to go. So, here I was just thinking like it was just like a routine fence so we're going to have to walk around it, but now I'm getting a little nervous. Henry's making some weird sound effects while climbing. Uh, Delilah doesn't know anything about it. Sure, we can go ahead and say like, oh yeah, it's probably just, you know, it's probably just some scientists doing their study, but... Why do they have a no trespassing sign? And also, I'm pretty sure most scientists doing a study wouldn't like fence off the thing. I guess we will have to learn what this is all about. Okay, I remember where we are. This is uh, the long drop. I totally remember. We found Brian's backpack on like a tree just down there. Um, last time when we were hiking back to the lake, we went over that way and now we get to go this other path and explore it. That's one thing I was wondering about this game, is how much I should do exploring on my own and how much I should just follow where the story tells me to go. And it seems like the game is doing a good job of just telling us where to go and uh, everything we need to explore, we will encounter in due time. Um, thoroughfare Fire Lookout. Um, that's the Lila, is this way. I wonder if we can hike all the way there. The Supply Drop is this way. I hope we get to to meet Delilah at some point in this story, like either like meet her halfway or hike to her lookout. Can't be that far. All right, this is a different looking supply cache. All right. <coughs> oh, maybe this is the supply cache. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Oh, I thought we were going to have to make some judgment calls. All right, 
I got everything I need. Apparently, it's here. all portioned out for Time us already. Down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Oh, do we have the option of taking the other people's? That would be fun. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. That doesn't yeah, look very big. Really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Looks kind of close. Should we stay she here? Have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Ooh, we get to name the fire? The flapjack fire. So no ideas, huh? No, just give me uh, time. Maybe we call I was it the thinking. Flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Cool. Um, so there's this creek down it the looks hill. kind of close. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Ooh, tell me. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Do we have anything? What happened to our whiskey, too? Our whiskey's gone. I've had one too many bad experiences <laughs> with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try Both again. Henry and me in real life, well, I don't like maybe tequila. you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, okay I'm fine. looking at it again. I just kind of got how bored. I look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Aw. Friends forever. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Yeah, we got Not that. The same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Well, hopefully we'll get to meet. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... Well, we could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. I don't like where that was going. I think Henry's really lonely and he needs a good friend at this point in his life. You're going fishing without but a license? I don't it's think one there's fish anything. And I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. Wow, Delilah. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports side. from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east and, um... You know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Okay, looking for a bear. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? We already confiscated this, like, a month ago. What the heck? How did that show up here again? Maybe that's just a weird game bug. <clears throat> okay, so we want to go fishing. We want to look for a bear. I'm also wondering if there's any news, like what happened to those missing girls where they found? Hasn't it been like a month? 
they haven't been found by now, they're probably dead. And uh, I'm picking up on a little more than uh, a little chemistry between Delilah and um, Henry. He probably feels a little guilty about it. Okay, look for, there's a clipboard here. I was going to say, we'll look for tracks, but let's see what's on this clipboard. Can what? I? Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. What? Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. Strange noise you towards the canyon. You didn't eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. It's a radio. Just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Buckaroo? Oh, I don't know why I just called you that. Yeah, that was weird. We found a radio. <coughs> what? What? I was not prepared Henry? for that. Are you there? Maybe that's an understatement. Henry? I. Holy hell, I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus. What Christ. is this game? Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what? Transcripts of our conversations? Yes. What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't. What the fuck is going on? Can we on? go home, What's please? Wapiti Station. I I I I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Did I? Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. Mm. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? What you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Um, yes, Delilah, I'm sure. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel oh fine. Oh my gosh. We don't have dementia oh, yeah. too. Okay, I'm sorry. Actually, I, that's I not even you, dementia thing. It's more like a schizophrenia from thing. Two weeks ago. I know they were. So the flat track What's to say that here? they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. This is really invasive. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Okay. Um, this game really took a turn. Uh... Wapiti Meadow is by the fence. And if that radio belonged to Wapiti Station, maybe the people behind the fence are spying on us with that radio. All they need to do is know our frequency. And they're doing some kind of psychological experiment on us? Or, for the very least, they're spying on us for some other reason. Um, whatever the reason is, this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Uh, we gotta hike over to this station and see if we can uh, find the people there. Uh, real life me would have been the hell out of here. I would have told Delilah, I'm quitting my job, I need to go back. But Henry, Henry's gonna get to the bottom of this, because Henry's a whole lot braver than I am. Um, and we will get to the bottom of this. So thank you guys so much for watching, 
and stay tuned for the next episode where hopefully we can get a handle on the situation.